What's up, family? This is Cupid Valentino, here to give you something wetter and juicier than San Pellegrino. Oh yeah, we're talking today about Valentine's Day options here on J. Rowe's Lolo blog. These are gonna be eco-friendly, easy to make, DIY, delicious ideas to share with your special somebody this year. Now I'm gonna start right at the top. The number one gift most people give their special somebody Flowers, cut flowers. It's a huge, huge industry all year long, but especially on February 14th. Now, rather than cut roses, as beautiful and expensive as they may be on that special day, they're gonna die. Here, I love you. I'm going to give you something that's going to die in a week. Not really the most flattering or eco-friendly choice. What I recommend is getting an actual living plant, getting something that's gonna last, like lavender, something really fragrant. Maybe they could even make something edible out of it. You could get them fresh herbs, like fresh basil, cilantro, chervil, things that they could actually plant in the ground and harvest. Or if you wanna get even crazier, you could visit your local farmer's market and maybe find something like, oh, I don't know, exotic, like, a fig tree. And for those of you in cold climates like Jero, fig tree? My mom in Detroit has a fig tree, so there's no excuses. You guys can get really creative and really fun by buying something living that's gonna last, that they're actually gonna be able to use. Personally, I think that's a much sexier choice on Valentine's Day. Now we're going to the second most popular Valentine's gift, and for that, Cupid Valentino needs to come on the scene. Oh yeah, we're talking about chocolate people. That decadent, rich, sensual pleasure that has haunted and titillated mankind for thousands of years. Oh yes, the cacao bean is the thing of many legendary stories, love stories. So, I present to you guys an option. Oh yeah, we're talking about chocolate dipped fruit. And you guys can check out my chocolate covered strawberry video for a super easy to make option that is going to definitely seal the deal on Valentine's Day. It's quick, it's easy, looks beautiful, and you guys can do this with raspberries, blueberries, even chocolate dipped pineapple if you really wanna get funky, baby. Yeah, how long am I gonna bob my head? Just enough to keep you entranced, baby. Yeah, you like it? I know you like it. Now, the setting is the third thing I wanna talk about, you guys. Whether you're doing chocolate-covered strawberries, buying them a fresh, living plant, it's all about where you deliver the present. So, if you have me going to your local market, farmer's market, picking up some fresh ingredients, you can go online and download some pretty fantastic recipes to make for your lover on Valentine's Day. I recommend, if you are in a warm climate, doing a picnic, getting a blanket, going and finding some amazing spot, maybe next to a river, maybe having a beach picnic if you're in a warm climate. That is so sweet, so beautiful. And if you happen to be in a cold climate this February, then a little fireside dinner might be in order. The setting is all about keeping it natural, keeping it fun, allowing you both to relax, really just rejuvenate and enjoy the meal. So again, setting is something I think is as equally important as what you're serving that person as well. Now after the meal, and if things happen to uh, get dirty, whatever that means to you, maybe it's a food fight, you're gonna have to clean up. And as you guys saw in my previous vlog with my homemade DIY coconut sugar salt scrub, this is something that's inexpensive, super easy to make, that is so decadent, so delicious when you use it as a scrub. This is made out of coconut palm sugar, Himalayan crystal salt, orange oil, lavender oil, it is so awesome, and Sacha Inchi oil, and it's super easy to make. It's so elegant and beautiful when you put it in a glass jar, and again, it's really unique. I mean, to deliver this to someone and say, yeah, baby, baby, yeah, I made this for you. I'm in touch with my sensitive side. I can make you a body scrub. Yeah, what man ever did that for you, girl? Huh? Nobody ever made you a body scrub, and now I wanna apply it. Oh yeah. Now I bet you're like J-Ro. You're gonna talk about a Valentine's blog, and you're not gonna talk about massage oil? No, 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 no. So, we gotta talk about the delicious benefits of extra virgin coconut oil. My favorite massage oil, hands down. It is so easily absorbable. It's awesome in your hair, on your body, pretty much anywhere you wanna use it. Now this one's for the adults out there. Well, <laughs> isn't this whole vlog for the adults out there? A lot of people are always asking me, j vegans, right? 
If we're gonna use protection, what are we gonna use? Well, I have a recommendation for you guys out there to check out. It's a brand called Sir Richards. They make a line of fully vegan, animal-friendly condoms out there. Check them out. They're a fantastic brand, a lot of integrity, really great products. That's j -Row's number one choice to help you guys keep it safe and keep it real on Valentine's Day. So family, if you dug my Valentine's Day Lolo vlog, give me a fat thumbs up below and leave me a comment. What are your favorite ideas, gifts, settings, meals that you love to share with your special somebody on Valentine's Day. I'm always looking for new and innovative ideas. Leave me a comment and let me know how you get down, Valentino. So y'all, I'm gonna bounce. Happy Valentine's, happy, happy Valentine's, happy Valentine's Day. Yes, Cupid Valentino here, wishing you guys a beautiful, amazing, sweet, sensual, loving Valentine's Day. Check me out on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. The handle is Jason Robel. Also my website, Jason, W-R-O-B as in B-A-A-B-E-L as in love.com. I'm out of here, guys. I love you. I love you.